Uh, it sounds like all the players understand that they're all really star personalities, at least. And so obviously public sentiment probably carries over into their minds a lot more. Same with the coaching staff. Um, because obviously if the team is not successful or doesn't literally win everything, they're probably not all going to be together at the next, you know, next year. Which then means that they feel like because of job security and the way that esports is, they have to win over fan sentiment and they have to build their brands to be bigger. They have to be center of attention. Um, so if Whippo, let's say, is being influenced by Reddit and Twitter um, and Whippo can can then go and play Lucian and Graves, which he's seeing is absent on Reddit and Twitter, and then he pops off on these champions and he has success on them, then Reddit and Twitter will move away from him and target whoever's not performing well, and then it's, oh, Whippo's carrying them with all these early game champs, but the late game players just can't keep up, and yada, yada, yada. And that's what has to happen, you know? Um, and so the coaching staff, like, also, if they feel like the, the team isn't doing anything intentional, the coaching staff starts making decisions, Um that are, you know, uh, focused on trying to make direction and stuff. Um, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's something. I mean, I could definitely see it. And that's the nature, I think, of like a super team where, it, you know, not everyone is friends with each other and no one really cares uh, for each other's best interests or anything. Um, I think that I think that that's something that could definitely happen. And none of these players probably knew each other except for what Bjergsen and Centaurin, right, prior to this team being formed. So I could see it being a real thing. Yeah. I could see it being a real a real thing. Um, so honestly, I don't know what's going to happen with Bupo next year. I agree uh, with Bupo that I don't think that he was any lower than top three or top four. Um, what I would say is that uh, I don't think that he's going to like pass Fudge uh, or something. I don't think he's going to pass like I don't think he's going to get to you know after so many years of playing a level like Summit or something. And I think Bupo last year when he was in Jungle was literally like up there with Inspired. Like, I, I think Whippo was absolutely insane in the jungle. And so I think Whippo should just go back to jungle. That That's what I think. I think that Whippo... I think that Whippo's strength is that he is one of the most comprehensively knowledgeable League of Legends players in the entire game. Not even just the Western scene. Whippo can play every role at a very, 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 very high level. He can play an abundance of different types of champions, even if like he himself is saying he's not super great at lane bullies like Lucian or something. He can still probably play that Lucian better than middle of the pack, lower pack players, even if it means he's not world class on the champions. But in the jungle, these things aren't as important, and Bwipo can probably do a lot more for a team from the jungle position sort of like what like Inspired and like other, you know, other types of players can do. So, I mean, if if I were Whippo, I think the best thing that he could do or the thing that he should want to do the most is go into jungle. That's what I think should probably be um, his uh, his best thing to do. But I don't know. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Whippo goes to jungle on Team Liquid or something like that. Uh, maybe, maybe that would be a, a way for him to stay on TL. Um, but realistically, I do, I do think that he should just play uh, jungle. I think that he should swap back to it.